It was a moment to celebrate Tyree Nichols' life in gospel and prayer, but also in sorrow. When those monsters murdered my baby brother, it left me completely heartbroken. Gone too soon. Nichols was 29 years old and a father of a four year old child. He liked skateboarding with his friends and he was an amateur photographer. He'd take pictures and post them on his website. He loved his mom so much he tattooed her name on his arm and often would rush home to eat with her on his lunch break while at work. At the memorial service, some parents of other African Americans killed by police were in attendance. Nichols' mom called for new laws to swiftly punish police accused of killing innocent people. We need to take some action because there should be no other child that should suffer the way my son and all the other parents here have lost their children. You are my strength. It was a memorial attended by over a thousand people, including the vice president. Let our memory of Tyree shine a light on the path toward peace and justice. So far, 12 people have been disciplined for their involvement in Nichols' death, including five officers who have been fired, arrested, and are facing charges of, among other things, second-degree murder. At the memorial service, there was praise for the swift action, but also calls to end the overuse of police force in the name of fighting crime. You don't fight games by becoming five armed men against an unarmed man. That ain't the police, that's punks. In America, another memorial service for another black man dead at the hands of police. This time his name, Tyree Nichols, full of so much life, taken away by the very people who are supposed to protect it. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Memphis.